it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So um, you can see on my desk right now, I have the Grinch with the hand. I wanted to put this on top of my Christmas tree. I have two Christmas trees side by side. I have a six foot one and a four foot one. And I we already did the Grinch at 36 inches. Um, so I kind of want to put the Grinch hidden behind one with this arm sticking out on top of my smaller tree. So this was a lot of fun and I wanna show you a couple things that I um, that I did. So there's a design space tutorial for this and then this is the assembly video, but I'll talk through some of the changes that I made in design space. So what's cool about this is, I don't know how it's gonna look just yet because I haven't pieced it together, um, but uh, I already did the Grinch at 36 inches. So I sort of made the hand bigger than what it looks like it should be but I think it's okay because it's reaching out and it's going to be kind of uh, at a distance because I wanted to make this kind of big as well but it's not that big because I think it ended up being about 14 inches so we only had to slice off the the ornament right here and I thought it would be cute to um, personalize the ornament so I did the the a little bit bigger than I would have from a design um, perspective, but I had just done something with this white glitter HTV and it was such a pain in the butt to weed. So I made it really big. That's the only reason. All right, so let's do this first because I have my mini already heated up right here. I have it on two bars, um, but the glitter vinyl, you're gonna see, I love using glitter vinyl to begin with because it's easy to cut and weed, um, except for this one. I don't know what it was. I think it's just today. <laughs> um, but I love ironing on to glitter uh, glitter cardstock. So here is the Stormers, and I'm tempted to kind of make it, I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm just gonna put it down like this. I'm gonna put it on top of, the ironing mat. Okay, so with glitter cardstock, I just iron straight on. And I mean, you don't want the heat obviously to sit on where you don't have the transfer sheet, but it can handle quite a bit. So this is hot. I'm just gonna do it for a few seconds, enough just to activate the glue and so that I can pull off the transfer sheet. And because, okay, so you can see it just lifted off, so it's not ready yet. Um, because we're obviously not gonna wash this, right? Um, it's gonna be hanging on the tree. We don't really need to make sure that it's super, super sticky. We just need it to stick. So what I like to do is, um, I like to get it off the transfer sheet, and this is, usually for other um, other materials, not necessarily cardstock, um, but like, you know, when you have um, more like plasticky stuff that you're unsure of, like your um, windbreaker type materials for clothes, I like to heat it up just, and you can kind of see it's, you know, it's sticking, but it's not completely on. Um, but when you're doing on clothes that are, or clothes or, um, I don't know, like a journal, something that you're worried about really messing up. I like to be able to do it where I pull off the transfer sheet and then hit it with heat using my Teflon sheet. Um, all right, so this isn't ready yet. This is a pain in the butt. So let's iron some more. Let's give it a little bit more heat. And I've noticed just in general, this transfer sheet, it does not... Um, transfer the heat that well. I feel like it holds the heat back from hitting the HTV. So sometimes it's just, it'll stick better once you get it off. It'll get the heat that it needs. So you can kind of see this is still lifting, so that's not a problem. We are going to get it in a second. Okay, so this isn't down yet. Let's get this. Whoa. That thing lifted off, I ripped it off, so. It's okay, you just wanna put it down. I'm gonna fix it in a second, make sure it's straighter. 
but that's what I love about Glitter HTB is it, it's very resilient. Um, so it ripped right here, it pulled off, but I'm just going to put it back on. So here, let me show you. Do you see how it completely came off? So I'm just gonna put it back on, put it where I think it fits best, right? Oops, might be easier with tweezers because the glitter cardstock has the grains, so it's a little bit more difficult to move it. Okay, so that looks really good to me. So now I'm just gonna put my Teflon sheet over and let the letters get the heat. So the, the Teflon will keep everything else from burning, like my cardstock, but it's really good about transferring the heat and it lets the whole thing, oh man, it moved a little bit. I'm just gonna peel it off because you can see the red there. All right, now I'm gonna hit it with more heat. And that's the great thing too, again, with Glitter HTV, because it's so chunky and it has, um, it's thicker, you know, so it, you can peel it back off. Like I didn't like the way it was showing because it moved a little bit and the red was, um, there's a little slit of red and I didn't want that. So, all right. So this feels pretty good. I'm just going to hit it with a little bit more heat, but you can see like I can run my fingers through. I mean, it's so pretty. Look at this. It's so glittery. It really shines through way better than if I had just put on, um, glitter adhesive vinyl, right? So just the regular sticker vinyl. Um, it would not shine through like this. Okay, so let me hit it one more time and then we'll be done. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna unplug it and move it to the side before I feel like I'm always gonna forget it's here and then I'll accidentally burn myself. All right, so let me move this just one second. Okay. So, I mean, this is, I love this. This is just glitter cardstock with glitter HTV, and I think it looks really, really pretty. Okay, so let's move this aside. I have my glue gun plugged in because we're gonna need it in a little bit. Now, I love this piece because look how big it is, and yet, um, so the hand was in multiple pieces, but if you follow, you know, my design space, I added a little piece to extend it so that the fingers all connect so it's one piece which is lovely the white was also in two pieces is now one so technically this piece is in four right your um, ornament your sleeve your cuff and your finger and then your black background and the black background is just in two pieces so i'm going to flip this over because i want to tape it from behind and you're just going to use that's what i forgot regular tape um, scotch tape. So I'm going to grab it here. You want to lift this up, push it against this one so that you have, I mean, so that it's pretty much seamless. And that is not a food stain. That's cardstock. <laughs> In case you thought I was just so messy. Um, all right. So let me tape this down. And on this one, I definitely want to tape right up to the edge. Okay, so I'm going to go this way and tape along here so that the, so it doesn't lift at all. Okay. And what I did in design space was, while I didn't make this bigger, I made my ornament really big because I wanted my name to stand out um, the, on the ornament. So I will show you how to do that as well. All right, so this goes here, and you can see it goes almost all the way to the edge, um, just the way I wanted it to, so that it covers up the seams right here. I knew there were gonna be seams, but as far as this looks, it, I would say it looks pretty seamless. All right, so you have that, you have your sleeve, your cuff, and your finger, and that's, or your hand, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to, Use my double-sided tape, flip this over. I mean, this is technically off the mat, but 
barely, right? Uh, 14 inches, it's barely. And if I really didn't want to have any seams, I could have used 12 by 24 cardstock. But if I was going to use 12 by 24 cardstock, then I would want to make it worthwhile and make it much, much bigger, like closer to, you know, using all the cardstock. But then the hand would have been too big for the Grinch that I already made. So I sort of, I think next year, I'm going to try to do a bigger Grinch for a bigger tree um, because that image could definitely be bigger and it would look great still. But at 36 inches, this was as big as this hand should be. All right, so I'm going to do this. I should have done it this way. Hold on. Okay, um, so that's done. Let's get the hand down. And then I'm gonna show you how to put this on foam board. Because it is going on the tree, I definitely want to back it up with foam, uh, the foam board so that your cardstock doesn't rip and um, your piece is just sturdier. Okay, oh, I think this is too thick. Okay, give me a second, I'm gonna cut this off. Um, when you're putting on the tape, you want to make sure that your tape doesn't extend past your um, cardstock because the back the background is black. It's going to show this um, the clear tape. It's actually going to be really shiny and really obvious, so you definitely don't want that. And if it does go past, which in this case it did a little bit, I'm going to show you. So you just stick your finger and push it back. It's great tape all right so here we go i mean this is such a simple project and i think it's gonna look so good on the tree okay so i'm gonna flip this over and i didn't learn my lesson i need to cut a little bit more And I think up here, I'm going to use my double-sided tape, which I think I did refill already. I, so this is 3M double-sided tape, which I love. It's, it's been doing really, really well for me. But for the fingertips, what I'm going to use is Tombow, and it's the glue tape. So let me grab a piece of scratch paper that I must have somewhere. Oh my gosh, I normally have so much of it that I can't believe it's not here. Um, all right, I'm just going to use this. Okay, so I'm going to get the tips so that it doesn't, um, it's not flapping as it's up there or moving at all. This is all done. Now I'm going to show you how to do it on the foam board. So I'm going to flip it over. Let's see. And you can see this little piece right here. It's thin. Um, and I'm actually not even sure how I'm going to do this because it's so thin. All right. We're going to have to just cut it as best as we can. So what you want to do is you want to get a white um, pencil and trace all the way around because we're going to cut on the inside of our line and we want just enough of the of the foam board to give this support and I'm not going to cut along the edges so if you see um, how he has like little hair outlines or whatever I'm not going to go through those details I'm just going to cut a straight I'll show you once I lift this up what I'm talking about. Okay. OK. 
Okay, almost done. Okay, um, let me put this down here. So you see, it's, it's a little hard to see. I realize that. Um, the Here are the little spikes of his hair. I'm just gonna cut one smooth as if they weren't there. And all right, so I use the Cricut True Knife Blade. I like it a lot and you'll see why in a second. So let's cut inside the lines so you can see where my lines are. I'm gonna cut inside the lines and I'm actually going to just cut this board really quickly on the outside just so that um, I have a smaller piece to work with. All right, so now that we have this little piece, so. And once I can't make a smooth transition, I'm just gonna go to the edge so that um, I can start a new line. It's a lot easier to cut um, in a straight line like that, like in one stroke. So when your stroke is gonna end, I'll just end it and not try to connect it to another piece and just lift my blade up and try to cut again. So I'm gonna do this part right here. And the reason why we're cutting inside the lines is it's gonna give enough support. Uh, we don't need to go all the way to the edge and um, I don't wanna be able to see it if I'm looking straight on any part of the background. So I find that it's easier to cut inside the lines. And the only part that we need to be really careful on this piece is where the ornament is, this little line. So I'm gonna try to cut it as smooth as uh, smoothly as possible there. Um, so I'm gonna leave that towards the end. Let's see if I can get rid of this piece here. Okay, so we're getting there. Um, So I cut in this little narrow passage right here, I cut as close to the line as possible without touching the line. So hopefully we don't need to make any edits to it because I feel like it's so thin right there. So I'm gonna try to get rid of these pieces. Ooh, it's thin right here. So we wanna make sure we don't mess it up, all right. Almost, we're almost there. Ah, I bent the finger, okay. All right, so here is our piece. Let's put our hand back on and see what we have. Okay, so 
that looks pretty good. I, I want to see if I want to make any last minute cuts before we put this down. And this part right here, I feel like I want to cut a little bit better because you can actually see that I cut and it sliced off at, at an angle so you can see the white. So I'm just going to cut a little bit more in to get rid of that. Okay, so now we're going to glue this down and just wanna make sure I'm ready to glue like this part right here. Okay, so I'm gonna glue the ornament down first. You know, I'm being particular. It's so small, it's so delicate right here, I'm just worried. Okay, so I'm gonna lift this up and I'm gonna glue this down. Okay, then I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna glue each one of the fingers down separately. So I'm gonna run one finger And then I'm gonna do this finger. This is gonna have enough glue to um, stick stick on, so that's that's not the concern. I just don't wanna, um, I wanna give it as much stability as we can. So okay, so on this side, we can glue the rest of it. And then what I'm gonna do is I have the Grinch next to me. So I'm gonna put it down so that you can kind of see um, how big this is. So the Grinch is 36 inches. So I'm gonna move this over. And it's not gonna be connected and you're probably gonna be like, wait a minute, he already has his hand. But you see how it, it <gasps> my greens are different. Oh my gosh, I need to recut the green. <laughs> I used a different color for the green and I didn't notice. Um, so I will change the green out. Um, but this is gonna be hidden from the Christmas tree. So his arm is gonna extend out. So it's gonna look like it's part of him other than the fact that he's two colors right now. Um, all right, follow me on Instagram. You're gonna see all the pictures there. And um, let me know what you think. Uh, comments, feedback here, please, questions, and then if you have a special project that you want to see, whether it's for Christmas or something random birthday for next year or whatever, let me know. Um, post your comments here, and then if you want to send me files or more details, whatever, you can send it to my email. It's an, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, thanks, guys. I can't wait to um, get your feedback. All right, bye.